Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a command door on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll see, we have our door in front of us, and all we have to do is run the open door command to open the door, and it'll open. We can go through it, and then when we run the close door command, it'll close it. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we do before we can even get into scripting this, we actually have to create our door part. I mean, all this is is a part under workspace. You could have models with walls and a door frame around it if you'd like, but all you need to have is a part under workspace named door with a capital D, um, and then this will work perfectly. So all we're going to do after this is create a new script under server script service. Um, and I'm just going to name this script command door, but you can name it whatever you'd like. On the first line that we want to put inside of the script is we want to get a reference to our group ID. And the reason we're doing this is because we're only going to let players run commands to use this door if they're above a certain rank in our group. So we'll just say local group ID equals. And then we just want to put our group ID in here. So in this case, my group ID for the row scripter group is this, but you just want to paste yours in here. Um, and after this, I want to create another variable just getting the minimum rank. So whatever that minimum rank is to use the open door and closed door commands in that group, we just want to put that right here. So we'll say local minimum rank equals, and then in this case, mine's 254 or the admin rank, but you could put yours at whatever you'd like. Um, and after this, another variable I'd like to set up is I want to get access to the door that we created under workspace, this door part right here, which is under game.workspace.door. So we'll just say local door equals game.workspace.door. Um, and the final variable I'd like to set up is I'd like to get a reference to the tween service. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because as you notice in the beginning, the door slowly animated up when we opened it. It didn't just kind of snap type thing. It went up slowly. Um, and the way we do those kind of animations type thing on parts is we use the tween service. So we'll say local tween service equals game colon get service tween service. After this, what I want to do is I want to get whenever a player joins the game. Um, and the way we do this is by hooking into the player added event of game.players. So we'll say game.players.playerAdded, and we'll connect it up to a function. Um, and inside of this function, I want to get the player that joins. So whenever a player is added, whenever a player joins the game, I want to get who that player is. Um, then in here, I have one more event that I'd like to hook into. I want to get whenever that player sends a message in chat. You know, it could be anything. It could be them saying hi to their friend, or it could be them running a command. We just want to get that message so that we can check to see if it's our open door or closed door command. Um, so we'll just say player.chatted, and we'll connect it up to a function in the chatted event. And then in here, I want to get their message. So whenever they send a message in chat, I want to get whatever that message contains, whatever it says. And then after this, all we want to do is check the rank in the group that we specified earlier, um, just to make sure that they're actually, they have permission to open the door. So we'll say if player, and we're going to call the get rank in group method of player. So if player colon get rank in group, and then we want to pass in our group ID, which we have a variable for, is greater than or equal to our minimum rank. Then what we want to do in here is we want to actually check their message. So we want to say if their message is equal to open door or our open door command, then we want to open the door. Otherwise, if it's equal to our closed door command, then we want to close it. So all we have to do is say if message is equal to, um, and in this case, my open door command is explanation point open door, but you could put this as however you want. Then what we want to do is we want to open the door. Otherwise, if the message is equal to closed door or whatever our closed door command is, then we want to close it. Um, so all we want to do in here, we have the command, we got the rank, they're 100% ready, and now all we have to do is actually open the door. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a tween using our tween service. Um, and I'm not sure if you noticed, but in the beginning of the video, this door actually didn't size down. It didn't change the size of the door. All it did was went up into the wall. So you just want to make sure before we do this that you have something created up here so that it hides the door. Um, because all we're really doing is tweening the position upwards. So all we're going to do is we're going to create a new tween using the create method of tween service. So we'll say local door tween equals tween service. And then we're going to call the create method of tween service. Um, then in here to create our tween, we have three arguments that we want to pass in. The first parameter that we want to give is the actual object that we want to tween. Um, and in this case, I want to tween our door, and we have a variable for that, so we're going to pass it in. The second thing that we want to pass into this is the tween info, so what, the information about the tween. Um, and in this tween info, there's a lot of things we can specify, but the only thing we're going to worry about is the time. 
So we're just going to say tween info dot new, um, and then we want to pass in the time in seconds, see number time that the door is going to take to tween upwards. So in this case, I want it to take one second for the door to reach the top. So we'll say one, uh, but you could set this to whatever you'd like. Um, and after this, we have our final parameter. Um, and all this is is the different things that we want to tween. It's an array storing the different properties that we want to tween and their new values. Um, I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but in this case, all we want to do is tween the position of this door upwards. Um, and how far do we want to tween it upwards? All we want to do is we want to tween it so that the bottom of the door is equal to right here. And the way we do that is just by saying, get the current position of the door and then add the door's size on the y-axis up to it. Add the door's height. Um, and that'll actually make it go perfectly up into the wall so we can't see it anymore. So all we're gonna do is create that array by pressing shift and then the bracket. And then we just wanna say, what is the property that we wanna tween? We wanna tween the position property. So position equals, uh, and we wanna set the position equal to the door.position, so whatever the current position is. And then onto that, we wanna add a vector3 value, so vector3.new. We don't want to change this on the x-axis at all, so we're just going to say 0 on the x. On the y-axis, we want to move it upwards by however tall the door is, so door.size.y, like this. And then on the z-axis, we don't want to move it at all, so we'll say 0 right there. Um, and then after this, the tween's all created and it's ready to go. All we have to do is play it. So we'll say door tween, colon play. It makes it super easy for us, and then it's going to play the tween and the door is going to animate upwards. But now the door is upwards, what we want to do is close the door. Um, and the way we do this is we're going to copy line 12 and 13, and I'm going to paste it right underneath line 15. And then in here, it makes it super easy for us. All we have to do is change this plus sign to a minus sign. So rather than moving the door upwards, we're moving it down. Um, and that's actually all we have to do for this script. We can go into the game real quick to test it out. Uh, and as you'll see, all we have to do is, because I'm above that certain rank in our group, all we do is say open door, and it'll open our door. And then I run our closed door command, and it'll close it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pasted in link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.